Hello my friends and welcome, my name is Dennis and welcome to the Sidecar Motorcycle Series. Today we have the KMZ11, actually it's KMZ16, with the shaft drive and a military style motorcycle. So it was delivered just yesterday to my garage and today we are gonna start this engine. How to start this terribly old motorcycle. It's almost 20 years old. It looks older because it's old technology but it's quite new. 20 years old it's not the age for this kind of old USSR made motorcycles even though it wasn't a it was made in the last year of USSR life. The next year USSR country Collapsed, maybe because they made this thing. This side collapsed, of course, of course, because this motorcycle is terrible. It can destroy your country, it can destroy everything, especially if you put machine gun there. But today we're gonna start it. We have accumulator with which, which is working. This connects all the electrical system. This switch is a magic switch. You can put it on and check all these bulbs and lamps. Let's switch on. Well, not all. This is an inter gear. It's oil pressure. This I don't know. This I don't know. This I don't know. Okay, let's start it. Blam, blam. Oh, I could hear something. Even with this, I'll put some. Uh, I'll put some fuel inside. I'll check if the engine... Yeah, it's on. It's... Stop engine and it's not stop engine. Oh, okay, guys, I'll just put the camera right there. Right there. I'm tired already. Uh, already, I already got tired. Uh, but I need to start up. It's alive! Come on, baby, come on! You can do it! It won't just work! Ah, my head, my leg, it's all in pain! So guys, what can I say? It is rubbish and the star was very bad. And now our aim is to investigate. I already prepared this wrench or key or how you call it, I don't know. I'm not good in technical English, so sorry about this. But I know that these carburetors are shitty because it's K63 Dinosaur Age carburetors. And here we have also shitty sparks, spark plug, spark plugs. Uh, I think the same there. Now I want to see the electrical part of it. Come on. I need to unscrew it. Why well, cannot do it? Oh, come on. I need to see a spark plug. Come on. I can do it with my hand. I don't know why. I prepared this key, but I didn't use it. So, what do we have here? No, like this. Yep. So, what we have here 
is the turbo spark plug you can see lots of black on this thing so we call it skirt in Russian skirt the spark plug skirt is dirty it means it has some extra fuel to the fuel air mixture which means this is terrible you are terrible and you need to be removed from my bike okay I'm screwing through you away terrible carburetor but also you I don't like you go away okay and now let's put the new spark plugs there today I was in the market and I bought this it's made in Czech Republic Czech made uh, super duper brisk N17 which is nice for this motorbike. bike I have the one and I'll put it inside ah, the worst thing you have with this boxer engine and the sidecar because the sidecar is very near and if you need to get access to your valves etc your sidecar is very near and sometimes you need just to remove this sidecar fix your engine put the sidecar again and go it's not my case for today we just changing the spark plug so for you guys to see the difference the old spark plug and new spark plug you can see it's quite different so let's put the new and let's start the engine so my friends everything is the same except we changed the spark plugs and now it starts motorcycle one more time I didn't change any regulation for the for the for the for these things but let's start we'll see Well guys, what can I say? It is much much better. So the spark plug was a problem. Now the problem the problem is lies within the carburetors and I'm going to change it. I'm going to change them both. What do I have for change? Well, I have this. This is China made carburetor. Ah, no, like this. This is China made carburetor which I will put on my bike works ah, why now why now I am filming the video and someone is calling all the time and now guys within the help of this magical Chinese carburetor I'm going to open the new border of power for this boxer engine of this wonderful, glorious sidecar motorcycle. But first, I need to put it there somehow because these holes here and here, that you can see, they are not the same within the, these holes here. I don't know how to put the light, just want to show you. Okay, uh, this uh, side here and here is wider compared to this side so to pair the carburetor with the engine I need to do something that's why I have this thing it has exactly the same holes to fit here and different holes to fit there so I'm just gonna put it like this but it's not an easy way guys because we have a problem with these things and to identify the problem I need this wonderful chair over here I'll just put it here and it won't move so this part is completely flat this also 
cannot be moved so this thing relatively is fine here I put this one and you can see you can see a little play here so it's not good this part is not flat here it's flat okay uh, so I have a problem with this side it's not flat it would not fit exactly uh, in the same way with its cylinder so it's a problem and I need to make it flat back in a stone age people used to fix their motorcycles with their stones I'm not an exception so today I have the stone to fix the problem actually it's some kind of sandstone the raw surface basically used for knife sharpening and uh, where is it? this one is good okay this one is not flat so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna make this and make it flat that's all as easy as this so guys I did my job and it's quite okay and it stays in one move such an easy way and make everything flat with a stone in a stone age again the problem what do we have here in this carburetor and the seal the seal itself represents the way the carburetor would fit here to the fitting so you can see the hole is identical so I can use it as a model just remove the carb here if I put the seal and within these holes you can see that there is some kind of step here see from this side the step here and it's not good it can stop part of the fuel air mixture it can be a lot of turbulence inside so I need to get rid of it what a mess this table is for all the jabs that should be done not for all this stuff here but usually you have su such a lot of garbage especially then you recently moved to your garage as I recently moved here so I need to prepare the table guys I'm using protection for ear, ears eyes and hands to cut this hole around I have the special tool do I remind you're a dentist <laughs> I have a fly in my garage Should I kill it? I just... I just can't guess I just can't kill the fly Come on fly, fly away! <laughs> no flies were heard during recording this video. Well, what can I say, guys?
Now it's more or less fine. It's just left from Google's. Don't worry. Uh, now I'm gonna remove this carburetor. Very old fashioned. I don't like it. Etc. Bad thing. Very bad, bad, bad thing. I just want to remove it and I need this seal to check if I need to do the same procedure as I did before uh, for the fitting. Okay, okay. So I have this part and I put the seal from the cylinder and it is perfect from other side it's it's okay let's check another one and it's perfect again so what I had to do is I get rid from this metal from this part and all around this so it should be okay now so my friends I have successfully mounted this hose uh, on a cylinder head it looks uh, looks 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 uh, I don't have a words to say hola amigo is there anybody out there they're not well uh, I think it's good I think it's nice construction here because the air will go straight to the cylinder it's not very uh, it's not very long distance uh, to cover for the fuel air fuel mixture and then also it rises up uh, the carburetor so it will be oh, it will be like this and the gear here the gear selector will be much more free uh, because if the carburetor is down it's quite not quite useful to change your gear while you're carburetor just nearby it's quite a not a lot of distance here so my friends I'm mounting the new carburetors on my motorcycle so it should be like this I wonder if you can see something because not good lights here we're gonna put it there and we're gonna start a motorcycle I don't know how to connect the throttle so far so we're gonna start on idle uh, I have the hose here on a drain. Actually, I don't need it in a drain, so I'll put it for intake. Yes, yes. Uh, I'll put it for intake, and I don't need a drain. Why should I? So I just disconnect the hose from this tip, and I put it here and it's here so we can connect it uh, connect it to my motorcycle tank now so everything is almost ready uh, so here is a jet pump this thing goes here and it presses the jet pump for now for now I just don't need it Later on, I'll connect it for, of course. But now, now I just want to start a motorcycle with a new carburetor. I'm not gonna check if this kind of new system okay for shifting the gear. I don't like this filter. Come on, the hose is completely broken. So I don't know why I they put it here or there.
the filler itself is almost clean I'll buy the new one okay we just got rid of a filter and the liberator here nicely yes I just want to show you one procedure which is quite hard for every man to put the hose on this tip yeah, this procedure is quite familiar for everyone but if it's not the time it won't go if you push harder you can do harm oh, come on come on if you hurry up you can also do the harm be safe and act safe as I do here with my hoose you're my baby it's almost done it's almost done come on come on come on you can ruin this night come on okay it's done perfectly and it's ready to go okay my friends so here is the carburetor and I just remove this plug, unplug, I'll put the hose on here for the fuel and of course I'll put the throttle, maybe it won't work because, uh, because it's so long it's standard for for the nipper motorcycle this is quite long you know the throttle cable but anyway we'll see go inside poke so the throttle cable is here and we'll just remove this the run will be without this uh, air filter but anyway I just want to try just want to try so guys I just want to put the cable inside here shouldn't be the big problem Oh guys, just look at this distraction in A3 I had to fix my motorcycle. I destroyed the air filter cover, etc. All this kind of hooses. Oh damn, it's good. And I just want to check how I will sit it. How it sit? Uh oh, there was a screwdriver. Anyway. It's quite comfortable. I just need to figure out what to do with this from air filter. I need some kind of hose to the carburetor. But it's quite good to, to sit here, I would say. Uh, it's not interfering, the carburetor is not interfering with the gear lever, it's not in interfering with the with the leg on the left side it's even more perfect so this is the leg and the carburetor out there it's quite good so guys today we changed the spark plugs we changed the carburetors for the new Chinese I forgot to mention the model it's PZ30 so Papa Zulu 30 these carburetors are you can buy it on AliExpress or something in a China store 
or maybe in Amazon, I don't know. I bought it on AliExpress. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the fuel. Come on the fuel and the spark plugs here, spark plugs here, and and what else? I'm just gonna push several times. pump up the fuel because this hose here should, be, should have fuel yes or not so I'm gonna just pump it 10 more times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Eight, nine, ten. After that, I'll select this in the middle position and this also. Ignition on. Yes, it's here. So, come on. Oh, it got. You got it! Maybe I should put it in an upper position in the throttle. I think there is no any fuel inside. Uh, what has just happened? I think this this is jammed I think I think I should put the idle somehow it's jammed come on don't be jammed Whew. Jesus Christ okay Let's start again. In the middle position. Come on. I think something wrong. I think something wrong. Too much fuel. <laughs> Too much fuel inside. Whew. So guys, I understood what was the problem. The throttle with itself, so the deflector or the throttle control, you may say this, was not lying down, it was lifted up. Lifted up because I made a mistake while put it again and now let's start we'll see everything is nice and smooth let's start
Okay guys, let's start. Wow, it's quite cold here. I didn't expect. Well, what can I say? It's much better than before. I want to go just to the gas station for refueling. Oops, seems like uh, the throttle is jammed. Not so good, not so good. Anyway, let's start. Neutral gear. Throttles are not so good. Maybe I need to change them because I have the other throttle. What is happening? Oh, I have just one throttle, I understood. The other one just ripped away. <laughs> but I can control it, you see? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> so this is the throttle. Come on, come on. So we're going up and so you can probably see the, the, the throttle just ripped away because of the handle, you know. And we'll just right ride this like this. So everything was nice till the moment. This throttle collapse. So we are now on a one cylinder. One cylinder is an idle. Then I control in the other one with a with my finger. Wow, not so good, not so good. I won't close this, I won't close this garage door. <coughs> but I want to make a quick fixing. Oh wait. I hope the camera is working, still working. If it won't bro broke up, I'll just go and refuel. I'll just go and refuel.